So I look at all these things and I'm able to say, this is the impression that your current branding, which also includes your website, is making. This is what your marketing is saying about you. Does that match who you are? Does that match how you want to be perceived in the community? Hi friends, Grace Rosa here. I hope you're having a wonderful week. We are now at the midway point, halfway to the weekend. And today I'm talking about your brand, your personal brand or your business brand, or maybe both. So people ask me often, um, should my name be my business name? And as you may know, I do help dentists with their marketing. That's primarily what I do. And I, on a daily basis, talk to probably five dental professionals outside of my own business. And we talk through growth plan. We talk through a growth plan and we put together that plan. And so oftentimes I'm asking questions um, such as, um, tell me about your business. Tell me about how many new patients you're seeing. How many would you like to be seeing on a monthly basis? And then from there, um, I, I often ask, well, how do you want to be known? And describe your ideal new patient to me. And tell me about some of your favorite dental procedures that you like to provide. And, and tell me about the ones you prefer to, um, to hand off to somebody else. And these these questions allow me to get a big picture view of the business, where you are and where you're going. Um, and, and in these questions, I also have the ability to look at, does your, your branding, so the materials that represent you, like your name, your tagline, your logo, do those things represent the things that you just told me? And I don't force people to change their brand. I think it's important to know that if you're already established, if you're already growing in your community, people already recognize your logo and your colors and your name. It may not make sense for you to rebrand right now, but I do like to give that insight. You know, there's this is a field of study. And as someone with an advertising degree with a minor in psychology, I spent a great deal of time, not only in my formal education, but also in my professional career, understanding the psychology of marketing, evaluating how different brands are perceived and why they're perceived the way that they're, that they're perceived. And so when I look at a brand, I know instantly what kind of emotion is this brand deriving from the audience based on colors, based on fonts, based on symbols, and based on current trends. So I look at all these things and I'm able to say, this is the impression that your current branding, which also includes your website, is making. This is what your marketing is saying about you. Does that match who you are? Does that match how you want to be perceived in the community? And if we have a disconnect there, there's opportunity to, to make an update. Um, this doesn't mean, like I said before, about the logo update or the name update, that I force everyone I work with to start over on their logo or start over on their website. Um, I can't tell you how many people um, jump in my calendar, but in their meeting notes, it says, I do not need a new website. I do not want to be sold a website. And I'm like, listen, I'm not here to sell you anything. I'm not here to, to push anything on you. But you, you do wanna hear my professional opinion because it may shape what you do in the long term um, related you know, for your marketing. So I'm always going to tell you exactly what you need. Um, it doesn't mean you have to, to do all of it right away. It doesn't mean you have to do all of it ever. Um, but just like when a patient comes to you and says, I just want whitening or I don't need x-rays. They're telling you they don't need you to do something, but but you're the expert on that topic. So you know it's your obligation to tell them where their opportunity lies for a healthier mouth. It's my obligation to tell you where the opportunity lies for a healthier business. So keep that in mind when you when you have you know this conversation with me. Also, um, and and this is the meat of what I want to talk about. Your business is not it's not always appropriate to have your business. Um, named after yourself. Some of the questions I ask in order to help people to make this decision um, are the following. One, 
do you plan on selling your business in the next five to 10 years? I can tell you right now, if a buyer came in to purchase my business and I'm not looking to sell it, I'm just using an example, and they were looking at the value of my company and I wanted to sell and I didn't really wanna work in the business after I sold it, that's gonna be a more challenging transition for a buyer to be successful with that business when it's named in my name. Um, people are going to expect to see me. So even in most states, you can keep the business name consistent for up to a year. If it is the doctor's name, it, it makes for a little bit um, bumpier of a transition, and it may also make for a less uh, desirable practice um, in terms of a, uh, or business in terms of a purchasing agreement. So think about that. You also wanna think about um, how do I want to expand or do I want to expand? Do I plan to eventually have associates? So let's say you are a dental consultant, and I'm talking loud because my daughter's screaming, she's on her lunch break. Um, but let's say you're a dental consultant and you have a five-year goal to bring in three other consultants, one that's going to specialize in um, front office training, one that's going to specialize in hygiene systems, one that's going to specialize in um, training the doctor in clinical efficiency and management, whatever that may look like for you. If you name the business, um, first, last name, blah, 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 consulting or whatever, your initials, consulting. Um, what's going to happen when you work with these dental teams is they're going to go, I want that person to train me. I want to only work with um, you because you're the person I hired because your name is your business name. So you're going to be creating some level of roadblock for future communications um, and people aren't you're not going to be able to expand as seamlessly as you would if you made the business name separate from your name. Now let's talk about instances where it does make sense for the name to be in your name. Let's say you are a solo practitioner. You plan to practice for another 15 to 20 years or several years. Um, the business is in your name. You're not looking to sell it. You are the main provider. You're not looking to bring in any associate doctors and the biggest selling point in your business is your clinical expertise and you want people to value your amazingly meticulous veneers, then at that level, it may make sense for your name to be the business name because you are the center of that brand. Um, another instance where it makes sense is your, your personal brand. So let's say you have a consulting company. We gave the consulting example before and you plan to have no associates and you're not selling anytime soon, that makes sense. Let's say you are growing your personal brand as a public speaker or as an educator. It makes sense for you to be the brand. Um, same thing if you're building your um, brand related to being an influencer or a YouTuber or whatever it is. It makes sense for your name to be the brand. So, you know, along, as I always say, the, the right way to brand, it depends on your situation. There's no hard and fast, if this is the situation, this is how you should do it. You also have to consider where you're at right now, if your name has brand recognition, and this is the way you've always done it, um, you may need to keep it that way, or you could see an, an immediate drop off um, in your business. So just like, um, really great dentists will treat every patient individually and create an individual plan. A really great marketing advisor will do the same for you and consider um, the big picture and where you're heading before they give you a hard and fast, this is how you do it. So I hope this information helped you. And if you need any help, um, either evaluating your brand, building a brand, launching a new business, I would love to have a conversation with you. Thank you guys and have an awesome day.